start any I don't want to start any chaos but I know what's about to happen next I've been preparing for it for the past six years you know people see me come and go but they don't know where I come or where I go <laughs> what I do know is when I read the Bible it does not lie to me it says in the last days leave the cities go back out to the rural lands in the country Learn how to make your own food because if you are attached to this system, they're gonna own you. What's this? What's this country gonna do when money doesn't work anymore? Because money is almost over. Then that means there has to be another system of barter and trade. Chips are coming. Microchips are coming. So what do you think is like when you say that's coming? What do you feel? I feel like. This country is going to find out it was never a country at all. It was always a plan for another plan. I don't. Hey, Shalom Amakim, Shalom Amakim. First thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor. That's due to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Akak Badash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. It wasn't a gospel, bro. Lifting up the standard of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, wherever it may be. Uh, this is just a quick lesson through the Spirit. Um, see that the brother had actually went into this. It says even the people, even the common people, believe it's coming. And this is an interview with Jaguar Wright, when she basically went into the coming of the mark of the beast. Now she made some comments about the Bible and how it does not lie, which in fact that is true. Okay, the Bible is the 144% word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And everything that we read in the scriptures and study in the scriptures is playing out to the utmost T. Okay, you got to literally be blind or stupid to not see it. But I kind of wanted to focus more on you guys that's not pushing this thing and why you're not pushing it. And you're going to be uh, not defended in that day because you were basically faint hearted, the scriptures say. Woe to him that's faint hearted for he should not be defended, which is in Sirach, the second chapter. And we'll pull that. But um, long story short, I'm noticing that the men of the Great Millstone and the affiliate camps that come in a like spirit are pushing this prophecy definitively, you know. And it's a damn shame that you got men of the IUIC like it was a video that came out and there's so many videos that's coming out on this on this techno. I mean, on this particular topic. To the point it's not even it's undeniable at this point guys are just openly rebelling uh they're just openly rebelling they're openly rebelling against you how about you how shy because i mean it's just a spirit of pride on these guys and they refuse to humble themselves to the men of the great millstone because you know they hate us and the fact that they have somewhat of autonomy in this world you know a lot of these guys are basically sold out you know like you see several brothers here chipping stations will reveal these phony israelites that's a good that's a that's a, a good title and i was actually looking for a video that was going into it because i mean you know like i said we've been harping on this thing for quite some time uh let me see if i can find that video when uh what's this guy's name i know the apostle tar did a video on it and i know a brother uploaded a clip of it on how they broke the mark of the beast down wrong and it's self-explanatory okay every week brothers do a breakdown on the mot to the busy every week yeah here it is here yeah yavasop of iuic makes false connection between phylacteries and the motb <laughs> like how can you totally distinguish i mean how can you totally butcher the two when they're not even remotely close you know but like i said a lot of these guys are paid off to teach this shit and then you had another joker or another guy by the name of general johanna that said you think god cares if you put a micro microchip inside your body yes the most high cares about it because that's the ultimate form of idolatry and it's adultery spiritually and the penalty for adultery is to be put to death all right let's see what it says i'm just gonna play the clip on first and I, then i'll just click off the video Shalom. 
Okay, well, he, um, I think he's just speaking on it, so I don't know if he, uh, I'm pretty sure he played the video, but, all right, let's go here, kind of zoom in a little bit. Seems out of your head. There ain't no mic. As a form of help, you know, as a form of healing, you see, and the scriptures, all right, warned, it gave a hardcore stance against this, let's keep listening. That bull crap out of your head. There ain't no mic. Ain't talking about some microchip. Bull crap out of your head. There ain't no microchip gonna make you sin. People stupid as hell. They're saying the micro seat. You know what? I'm gonna say it straight forward. You niggas of these other groups are a bunch of fucking idiots, man. And we don't know if you deliberately doing this because you just want to be a bunch of assholes. But I pray... They how about you, how should I put every last one of you niggas in these other groups to straight to, to straight shame when it's all when it's when all hell break loose, man. Okay, because I mean you could just see the 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 fireman in this guy's eyes, man, all because he has a thing against the men of the Great Millstone. So these niggas would totally butcher breakdowns just to be on some contentious type shit. Talking about how stupid it is, you stupid dumb idiot. You fucking retard. Now I'm getting pissed off, man. I didn't even want to go here in this video, but now I'm getting mad. The brother just showed the whole concept with Elon Musk and his whole Neuralink shit. Bro, do you know that they test the, the whole technology on? I believe this guy was like a paraplegic or something like that, or they put like the interface into his brain to the point that dude can hack a computer uh, pretty much using his mind now. Like, dude, that's a fucking miracle right there on the left hand side. Why can't you see that this technology is being prompted and they're getting ready to push it? That's why the Lord is going to jack a lot of you Israelites up, man. You dudes that send this thing for fame and fortune and clout and you want to get a following because you think you cute. All right. It we won't make see. you sin. So basically, just as this guy. Let's go here. God cares. You think God cares? You think God cares? You think God cares? You think Let's see if I can rewind. Chip in everything that you is the way you get the is it's how you get the mark of the beast. You put that chip in you, that's your forehead and your hand. It's ridiculous, man. It is absolutely the ridiculous. You think God cares that you put a microchip in your body? You think God That's all we need to hear. And it's beautiful, though, because you know what? These guys are really set up as stumbling blocks at the end of the day. Because a lot of you guys that follow these dudes, man, the scriptures say, blind lead the blind, they both should fall into the ditch. So Lord got a lot of you uh, giving over to your strong delusions. And you're going to believe lies like this. Because a lot of you ain't right anyway. A lot of times the Lord puts you guys under these unrighteous leaders because a lot of times you ain't right. You know, just to say the least. But it's, it's getting old. All right. And if you don't see it, then that's on you. So this is the book of uh, Sirach 2. And I'm going to start at verses uh, 11. OK, it says for Yahweh is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful. Forgive its sins and save it in a time of affliction. So there is time to repent. But you think these guys are going to ultimately repent? No, because pride is involved, man. Because at the end of the day, no matter how many videos we do on this subject, they're not going to adhere to it because they don't like the men that's bringing it out. OK, they refuse to uh, humble down and accept truth from a bunch of who they consider bumites, a bunch of bums, as they like to call us. But it says, but we'll be to the fearful hearts. And a lot of these guys are afraid. You know, a lot of them took that purse, that bag. They sold out to Esau. So they have a gag order. This is why we tell you brothers out there to stay away from 501c3 camps because they twist and they taint doctrine. It says in faint hands and to the center that go in two ways. Yeah, man. These guys are double minded. OK, one minute they speaking that next minute they saying that changing up breakdowns. You know, one minute the MOTB is send and is an embargo and a sleep with a white woman. You know, it's your right hand and this and that is it's everything that is not in the court of these men. So which is it? But it can't be an RFID chip. That's just physically impossible. But I'll tell you like this. When this economy collapses and when this society goes under and the money is null and void, the little CBDCs, that chip, everything is going to be contained on that microchip.
It's a damn shame that Jaguar White can see this and you niggas can't. And this is why the scriptures say that the Lord suffer the hardest to go into the kingdom before you publicans, man. Because you got women like that, not saying her in particular, but you got women like that that's actually going to be saved, man. Because they have a sincere heart towards your Yahweh Shai. Versus you dudes out there that claim you're Israelites and don't want to give the Lord his just due. Calling on the name of Christ. This Jaguar White lady, much of a demon she is... She got a, a, a way better chance of getting into the kingdom than a lot of you Israelites, man. When all hell break loose in order to curb the storm, they're going to let you people fuck up for a while. They're going to let you get to the point of desperation, starve you out, and then they're going to present that chip. And that's going to be the catalyst that's going to sell you on this whole system. Watch. Watch how it goes down. When this society collapses, they're gonna, they already promoting it. But that's going to be the ordeal to replace the currency. Your CBDCs, which is central bank digital currencies, which is a digital dollar. Your social security number, your tax ID number, your business, everything, your, your, your doctor's records, everything is going to go on that chip. And you're going to need that in order to function in this society, to drive a car, to own an apartment, to have a job, to go in grocery stores. That will be the new form of payment. OK, and I'm 144,000 percent sure of that. And if you don't see it, oh, well, OK, but you were warned. But woe to them that is faint hearted for he believe it not. Therefore, he should not be defended. So you faint heart, you're afraid, you know, and it says that you don't believe in the Lord. You don't believe in these prophecies. So you ain't going to be defended. A lot of you going to get cast right into outer darkness. And a lot of you, the Lord ain't going to keep you from the hour of temptation because you following these misfits you call leaders. Telling you it's something that is not. So when it comes time to eat, you're going to go down there and you're going to roll your sleeve up. You're going to let them put that shit in your hand or in your forehead, mainly in your hand, because most people that's going to get it in their brain is people that's like handicapping shit or unless you just want to be a, a freaking android. But some people going to opt in and get it in their hand and their forehead. People going to take both. You know, they may sell you on some type of a center based credit. They may give you a higher credit score. Because basically America is trying to switch over to a social credit system. Okay, they just got to figure out how to go around the Constitution in order to make that happen. Because they got all these uh, drunk Edomites that believe in their gun rights. So they have to figure out how to rectify this into their, into their deeds, man. All right. But it says, what do you that have lost patience? It says, what will ye do when the Lord should visit you, man? Okay. So what you going to do when all, when all hell break loose? And you find uh, yourself in a situation. And a lot of you going to taste those missiles. A lot of you going to taste the second death. All right. But it says here, and they that fear the Lord will not obey his word. And they that love him will keep his ways, man. Okay. And we going to keep the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because we really believe. All right. Not like you other, you other guys out there. You, you, you playing games with the, with the Most High and His Son. He's going to not, he's going to play a game with you in, in a form of destruction. All right, this is the book of 2 Timothy 10, 2, and I'm going to start at verses uh, 11. And it reads here. Matter of fact, let's start at verses 10. It says, And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth. Yeah, the Lord didn't impart it into your understanding, that they might be saved. And for this cause, Yahweh shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Because like I said, a lot of them sold out. They like that money. They like that pretty package. So a lot of them ain't got hope no more. They're just like, you know what? We know we going down. We just going to take as many as you clown. We going to take as many of you idiots with us. Because a lot of them dudes know they teaching lies, man. But it's a goddamn shame that common folk see what this is. Outside of the you Israelites out there. And the reason being is because you Israelites have a lot of pride on you, man. Okay, it was always the leaders of our people that caused the most fucking problems. It wasn't even a common folk. It was when Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah was going up against fucking the, the wicked leadership at that time. F wicked scribes, Pharisees, wicked Sadducees, the Sanhedrin, you know, Zealots. He was going up against these, man. It wasn't even a common Israelites that really gave Yahweh Shah the shit. It was you fucking niggas, man. That call yourselves prophets. Alright. 
another precept. Revelation 3, and I'm going to start at verses, uh, whole chapter is good. Because it goes into how the Lord have alt with you churches. But let's start at verses uh, 10. It says, because you have kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which should come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And how are they going to do that? By that micro sea hip. Okay? That's the hour of temptation. Because the tempting thing about it is, is because they're going to sell you on, an, on a fact of food and shelter and raiment. You ain't going to want to let go of your comforts. Like these celebrities and stuff like that, like Rick Ross and Jay, they're going to all take it because they don't want to give away that, 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 that nice comfort life. But the damning part about it is, is if you do take it and you live a, a sustainable life, you only got a matter of months left before this place is hit with the missile. So is it worth 10 seconds of selling out? <laughs> <laughs> to to uh 10 seconds of selling out for for the taste of the missiles all right that's not an even trade you ask me you know certain brothers get thrown in prison the fema camps or whatever you want to call it uh and be faced with that chip or death hey back of the brother's mind you got to think like well look man shit the chip is here so that means salvation is literally right around the corner so hold out fuck it cut my goddamn head off whatever and you got to have that mindset man Okay, you can't get tempted by this shit because you already know what the scriptures say. All right, let's go from here to the book of uh, Second Edge of sixteen. Not so rock, Second Edge of sixteen, and I'm gonna start at verses uh, sixty-eight, and it says, "For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you." And they should take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered into idols. Being idle meaning you're still or you're stationary and things offered into idols, man. In this case, it's going to be that micro sea hip. And they that consent unto them should be had in derision and reproach and trodden on the foot. Okay, so they're going to have a lot of you in them prison camps. I'm thinking when it says uh, being idle, I feel like that's going to be in the FEMA camps, man. Whether it be a uh, high school or derelict apartment building or Walmart super center or distribution center or baseball stadium or actual prison. All right. Regardless of it, they're going to present people with the opportunity to, to so-called get out of those places by presenting them with things that's offered into idol. And the biggest one is being an MOTB. All right. Verse 10. And because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation which come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth, okay? But behold, I come quickly, hold fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown, all right? And hey, we got to hold fast, brothers, okay? Fuck all that dumb shit. You heard what that woman said. She said, hey, what's coming next is the chip. This is why they're getting ready to collapse the dollar, all right? And it says, and he that overcometh would I make a pillar in the temple of my power, and he should go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my power, in the name of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem, which coming down out of heaven from my power, and I will write upon him my new name, okay, which goes into uh, the renewing of the name, which is Yahweh Shai, okay. So anyway, I'm in it, giving all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Lord's will, you will edify 